And we're on the phone today with actress Marla Sokoloff. Uh, you might remember her as the bad girl Gia from Full House, the one uh, that was friends with Stephanie Tanner, smoking in the bathroom. But uh, she's got a lot of stuff coming up now. A new Lifetime movie called The Road Home for Christmas. That's uh, premiering here on October 26th. Hey, Marla, how's it going today? Hi, how are you? I'm excellent. Thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, thanks for having me. Well, you've got a lot of stuff uh, coming up here. Uh, I want to ask you first, uh, the the new Lifetime film, The Road Home for Christmas. Can you tell the listeners a bit about that one? Yeah, so this is a really special movie. Um, Obviously, it's a Christmas movie, you know, The Road Home for Christmas, so I know that that's shocking. But, you know, I keep telling people it's not just a Christmas movie that you would expect. It has all of these different, you know, elements to it. It has, you know, a relationship friendship that starts off, you know, kind of rocky between these two people and they're forced to go on this road trip together and their relationship, you know, blossoms in a different way than you would expect. It also has a music component to it that makes it really special and it just takes you to places that, you know, normal Christmas movies don't really take you and makes you feel things, you know. I actually even cried when I watched it, which is shocking considering I knew exactly what was going to happen. I read the script to film the movie um, so yeah, it's a, it's a special movie. Awesome. Yeah. And it's uh, on Lifetime again, premiering October 26th. And I've read, uh, you've got another holiday film coming up too, the Christmas hotel, uh, that one you're actually directing. Yeah. We're shooting that one right now. Um, it's starring Tatiana Ali, who is an absolute dream to work with. And yeah, it's a, it's just uh, also a dream for me to be able to direct this movie. I'm just so grateful to Lifetime for giving me this opportunity. It's been such an incredible experience. We only have one more week left, and so I'm starting to get a little sad that it's almost over, but that means it's closer to everybody being able to see it. Yeah, a lot of people look forward to the, the Lifetime holiday movies every year. Um, I guess that's pretty evident by mm-hmm. the fact that um, you know they're rolling them out here uh, a couple months in advance now. Yeah, so that, that'll be interesting to see. You know, when I found out that The Road Home for Christmas was going to be premiering before Halloween, I, I was like, oh, do people actually want to see a Christmas movie before Halloween? But now that we've been, you know, doing press for it and just the reactions I've gotten on social media, it appears so. Everybody is very <laughs> excited. Yeah, it seems like there's a group of people who just watch these uh, Christmas films all year round and then wait for the new ones to pop up. Yeah, yeah, people are just, they're ready, you know? I So I am too. You know, I like Christmas. I like the holidays. The second the weather starts to turn, I'm all in, so... I, I, am, I will be on that list of people. Excellent. Well, again, uh, the first one, The Road Home for Christmas, is uh, premiering here October 26th on Lifetime. And Marla, I know you uh, also are back for the new season of Fuller House as Gia. That's uh, coming yes. up here as well. Yes. And we have, I mean, they're filming right now. And once I get home, we do the last two episodes. So I'm, I'm having some feelings about that as well because, you know, that's been a part of my life and everybody's life for so many years. So, <sighs> yeah. That's that's going to be a tough one. Yeah, how has that been for you, uh, being back on the set and you know reprising that role again after all these years? You know, it, the first season, I have to say, you know, it was really strange being back on that same set and you know playing the same role. It was all very surreal. Um, you know, now it's just it's amazing. It's such a special experience. Um, you know, to be able to go back to a show that you know a job that I got twenty something years ago is something not every actor gets to ever experience and to be able to bring my daughters to the set of a show that I was, you know, 12 or 13 on, um, is incredibly special. So it's definitely a job that I know is like a once in a lifetime thing. Um, so always will have a special place in my heart. Well, of course, uh, like most people, I watched it uh, growing up as well. And I love that the, Mm -hmm. the show is, um, you know, it can be enjoyed by everybody, but if you were a big fan of the first show, there's always those kind of uh, obscure references and uh, nods to things that people pick up on. Yes, exactly. I know sometimes I'll be watching it with my kids and I'll think, is this appropriate? Because I'll understand it, you know, but it goes right (laughs) over their heads. Um, and I appreciate that. I love that the show throws those things in for, you know, the adults. (laughs) Well, I, and again, the, the Full House, the uh, the original show, still on the air in, in syndication, it seems, everywhere you look. So I think, um, for me, the episode where you guys played uh, Ace of Base at the talent show, that's probably my all-time favorite. <laughs> yeah, people love that. And I really loved that they brought that back on Fuller House. I, For me, that was my favorite episode to film. Um, and, you know, my seven-year-old loves the Ace of Base song, The Sign. And, you know, every time I hear her sing it, 
it just makes me cringe. I'm like, can you just like a song that's current? Because, you know, Ace of Base is not cool. And she's like, I love that song. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get you into something that's not from like 1994. <laughs> Well, of course, um, you were in a lot of other uh, beloved TV shows over the years. You know, a lot of them early on in your career. You, you mentioned your daughters uh, coming to set. Do you think maybe they'll follow you in your footsteps and get into acting? Um, you know, I <laughs> always, people ask me that a lot. Um, I, I'm from the, you know, mindset of if they want to do it, of course, that will be incredibly supportive. But I would prefer for them to do it when they're, you know, older and out of school and, not I, not a child actor, you know, I want them to go to school and just be normal kids. And then when they're older, you know, find the thing that they're passionate about, you know, I, I, I want them to be normal and not have to deal with like rejection so young. Cause I think that's the hardest part of it. Definitely. Well, and it's, it's interesting, you know, with a show like Fuller House or, you know, any of these shows now it's, uh, you know, a lot of people watch them all in one day, it's it's not like it was before where you kind of ride that wave for, you know, 13 weeks or whatever it is. Right. And I just remember being a little kid or even like in high school, you know, racing home to be able to watch a show and not wanting to miss it. Like at seven o'clock or eight o'clock and, you know, they'll never know that struggle. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, uh, the Lifetime movie, The Road Home for Christmas coming up on October 26th. And uh, we mentioned uh, the Christmas Hotel coming up. Fuller House. Uh, that's a lot of stuff for you, Marla. Is there anything else maybe we should be looking out for? Um, yeah, I'm currently developing a show based on a, um, a short that I directed and wrote last year. Um, so that'll be coming out soon as well. So we'll look out for that one. Awesome. Again, I'm a big fan and I, I loved your character, um, the bad girl making uh, Stephanie Tanner smoke. Uh, definitely great stuff. I, <laughs> I appreciate speaking with you today. Great. Thank you. I appreciate it. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. Thank you. And again, that was actress Marla Sokolov from Full House, Fuller House, the new season of that coming up. Also, the Lifetime movie, The Road Home for Christmas, is on October 26th. And also another Lifetime movie, The Christmas Hotel, coming up as well for Marla Sokolov.